What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. The daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. What we're doing today is we're playing our next episode in the Map Master Monday series, where I will be taking a look at every single map in the game with an eye on free for all progressive world dom and we're going to be placing it into a tier how they all stack up playing uh six player free for all looks like everyone readied and i'm in the second position so settings we're going to be doing a uh, world domination today's map is modern spain auto 60 expert bot we don't start with any automated progressive cards and then nothing fancy no fog no blizz no portals no alliances i'm in the second position the number one thing you're going to want to pay attention to in the maps is the bonuses so here are what's 5v2 weird spawn for green um here's how the bonuses work in modern spain you have four two for twos so you have why am i pulling the map oh that's weird why isn't that working i'm trying to use my drawing tools but it didn't work let's try that again um I think we just take one strong bonus now, but pink is last, so pink's gonna roll my three. Yeah, I, I have to remove them from that being an option, unfortunately. I hate that. I like the start less now, because I'm I greedily take two bonuses. Um, but we'll see how it goes. All right, let's try the drawing tools again. Drawing tools, thank you. And circles. Okay, so Spain has four two for twos. The Canary Islands, Extremadura, uh, the Canary Islands, Extremadura, Ceuta Melilla in the bottom, and the Basque country in the top. They also have uh, five three for threes. Point it all out. Galicia, Aragon, Catalonia, Valerius Islands, and Valencia. They also have three large bonuses, Asturias worth plus 10, Madrid, Castilla Mancha plus 6, and Andalusia in the south worth plus 8, if you can hold it. Um, the reason Spain is so excellent, in my humble opinion, this is one of my very, very, very favorite maps, one of the big reasons why Spain is so excellent me yeah, and steals my bonus for himself with a 6v3 gets good dice okay and then green's gonna break me up at the top and i'm gonna lose immediately and we're gonna have to restart the video cool so i thought i had an okay start um but the bonuses really 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 matter in spain so i took magenta out of the top left and he's gonna break me anyways he's gonna go there anyways right i'm just gonna get totally gang raped <laughs> And I'll have to start this video again. Wow, look at the brutal beating. <laughs> All right, well, that's fine. This will be fun. This will be a fun one to put on, on YouTube. Oh, God. Okay, so what was I even saying? Sometimes you get these opens. I'm going to play it until I'm dead. <laughs> I might as well try to win from here. Okay, so... Because you have four two for twos, players are likely to get early bonuses. Um, and if they use those extra troops, um, well, look, I have half a mind to just suicide into yellow and quit, but I don't want to do that. I want to play to win. Um, and this is what playing to win looks like. We play multi-positional. And we try to not die at every stage of the game. So I'm in three positions. Wow. Yeah. So blue getting plus two from holding the Basque country in the north. <laughs> I'm dead. There's nowhere for me to be in this game. I'm so dead. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so dead. Okay. Maybe being red's a bad idea. Maybe we should switch the color. We'll have to try this a second time, guys, because this is just hilariously awful. Okay, so um, we can talk about why I love Spain. Um, I've played Spain a ton. 
Uh, Spain is the map that got me to rank number one in the old system. Um, I like it because it's open. I like it because it connects around the outside of the map. You kind of have a ring if you think about it. You want to follow that ring around the outside, and you have kind of an open circle. And then within that circle in the middle, you have these really cool, strong bonuses that you're probably not going to hold, but you have a ton of little bonuses that you might. And another great thing I like about Spain for the 1v1 is I like the top right corner. So you have in this side of the map, plus two, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three. Plus three. So you have all of this um, board position on the top right, consolidated in such a way that um, if you do hold that side of the board and your opponents don't have quite enough troops to break you, you win easily. Yeah. So Magenta's next move is to hit my four up there. I can try play two positional, but because I'm at such a troop differential between, every, between me and everyone else, um, someone's just going to randomly accidentally eat me now. I don't think we see anyone um, go bad neighbor. Maybe it looks like green might be thinking about it in the bottom left. Does he roll a seven? No, he's going to guard against, but not hit it. And then he's going to hit the two across the one of the bottom. So green's going to have two plus twos. Magenta's going to have a plus three. Yellow has a plus two. Blue has a plus three and a plus two. Yellow's working on their second bonus. White's working on their first. And the old Peatman is sitting with two four stacks. So again, I'm very, very, very likely to die. The five cards, I trade them early. This is how desperate we are. This is an extremely, extremely desperate position. And what I want to do is I just want to be as far away from myself as possible. In those two positions. I think we walk away from Magenta. I don't think it matters much. Very, very little strategy in this portion of the show. But but we'll run it back so you guys get a what's hopefully a more realistic um, version of this game. And Blue does hold their plus two and their plus three. Blue's now at 26 troops. My, my only line to winning this is if my opponents um, actually hit each other. But in, in sort of the new good neighbor meta, we, we don't see that as being very likely. Blue rules a 4v2 in the south gets perfect dice. Sometimes it's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm at 12 troops and three cards. Do we have a set on three? No. As I said, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm in such dire straits, I'm going to trade as soon as I get cards. White is in three positions without a bonus. White is the only other player off bonus. But they didn't get absolutely rocked turn one. White's going to take Aragon. No? Consolidate the six into the seven? Neither. White stays in three positions, but stays off bonus. Strange. Strange play. All right, so now we start counting the number of positions. Yellow is in one main position in the bottom left, and has two ancillary positions in the Balearic Islands and in the north. Uh, looks like he's trying to line himself up for that uh, that Balearic position, but he rolls a 4v2. We're seeing a lot of 4v2 rolls here. Folks, don't do this. 4v2 is 75% to win. We've seen a lot of really good dice, though, so it hasn't been punished this game. Magenta's in two positions. They hold their plus three. They have a five in the bottom. I guess this single still counts if they add to it, but it doesn't look like they are going to. And he moves the five out of the, the Valencia bonus, so white will have a line to take that bonus next turn. Cool. No, he doesn't. He doesn't give it to him easy. Okay. I mean, if you're white, you roll this, I think. Hopefully I can slowly build up and stay under the radar and not get killed by being in two places. Green guards 
11 v 11. So we're having a cold war brewing here. Surprised I'm not dead yet. Still see the odds of me winning this game is extremely low, but I'm, as I said, folks, I'm going to try and play to win for as long as I can. <laughs> for as long as I can. I think I moved down. Again, I just want to be as far away from myself as possible. So we're sitting with two sixes. And no set on four? I get eaten on five cards. That's the game. We'll go, we'll, we'll run it back. <laughs> 15 for four will become 17 for five. That is a really good deal. Maybe not the best deal. But it wouldn't shock me if one, if any of these Goliaths with bonuses from turn one um, decided to kill me. So we do see a break. So yellow gets their bonus stolen from stolen by blue. Blue takes a third. So if blue gets to hold this, they would be holding one plus two and two plus three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven troops they'd be getting next turn. Let's see what yellow does about that. The potential to run in here, break. White chips at me. I actually like that. I like a little bit of a buffer between me and magenta. Yellow sets gets the four. They set early. So they're gonna they're gonna take that top bonus off of blue. Yeah, there you go. So now but blue's still in a much better seat, right? Blue has two plus threes, yellow only has two plus twos. Steal a bonus. I steal a bonus. Let's see if uh blue continues to raise and break on yellow in the bottom. Magenta 32 troops and sets gets the six. I'm dead before I trade. I'm dead before I trade. Also greens down a card. I guess they skipped once. Didn't notice that I was too desperately trying to pay attention to my position. And backdoor's green. Cool. So we are starting to see some bad neighbor. So maybe staying out of the way, staying out of trouble is the move. But he doesn't take the bonus because he doesn't want to open the green eight. Green just lost a lot. They got a bonus break. They lost the potential plus two. And they lost an 11 stack on that. Let's see if they have cards. They're going to roll 6v5. Don't do that. And they do have cards. Oh, boy. These wars. I tell you, staying out of trouble, huh? <clears throat> if I can come back. <laughs> boy, howdy. 12v10? Let's see it. We've seen three of my opponents trade early so far to jockey for a position for the shitty bonuses. No, he doesn't break because he can't afford it. Two goes to the 12. Yeah, no, two goes to the six in the bottom. Okay, so I'm somehow still alive. I'm going to put two troops at the bottom because that's where I'm going to get my card. One troop at the top. Um, and again, just slowly walk my stacks apart so they're about as far away from themselves as possible. I'm still, like, attached to yellow. Yellow could make my kill, but they said already. Green could make my kill, but they said already. White could make my kill? Let's see it. How would white kill me? White goes here. And here, yeah, I, I can see a world where white kills me. Okay, blue sets gets the 10. That goes up from the bottom into yellow. No, that guards the position they want. They're in a good position now. Blue doesn't need, blue's in a really good spot. They're holding two plus threes on the right-hand side. Now they're going to hit yellow out of the top anyways. What trade am I going to get? I'm in the seat for the six trade, and I'm going to get like the 10 or the 12. 
I can't believe I survived a trade, first of all. <laughs> I shouldn't. Okay, blue takes a third plus three. And they take the plus two as well. Okay, blue is absolutely demolishing from the top right. Okay, how can I pay that off? How can I pay that off? I think I just set an N2 stack at this posi at this point. I don't need to fight over bonuses because I think these guys are going to. And we're going to play it traditional prog style. Wait for a kill to be viable and pounce. You guys should not have let me live. <laughs> Crawl my way back from certain death. There's still a chance. White can set and kill me here. And I think they should. But they don't. But they don't. Okay. I think the green kill might be viable. He's really lining himself up to do it. Yeah, Burrow, but you missed your chance is the thing. But you missed your chance. Okay, yellow's guarding their one bonus. Tries to get a card off the two fails. Should hit blue out of the bottom. That's dumb. If you're if you're yellow, you definitely don't want blue in a second position on your border. That's dumb. So they remove an exterior of mine. <clears throat> Surprised that one lasted so long. I'm gonna get the 12 trade. Put myself in two positions. Or rather, keep myself in two positions. I'm going to continue to, to attack down off the seven. Um, maybe Magenta kills me? No. Yeah, I think attacking down off the seven is the move. Guys, I can't believe I'm not dead. <laughs> All right, 12 becomes a 15 to guard. So we have the exact same Cold War that we saw before. Green did not learn their lesson that Magenta feels threatened by that 15 that can only go into them. Green did not learn at all. Ooh, he's hitting a lot of Magenta. Oh boy, please feed me the Magenta kill. Oh baby, feed me that Magenta kill. Serves you right for taking my bonus, sir. Okay, that's my bonus. All right, we're putting in the 12 trade. I can't believe it. I uh, put eight on the bottom and seven on the top, sitting with two 14 stacks, we hope, at opposite ends of the map. And now we just got to survive to trade again or make a kill. Let me go get another cup of coffee because I'm not dead Pretty soon, blue will be unbeatably large, but that still might mean that they feed kills. Okay. White sets gets... Oh, and I have cards. White sets gets the 15, and I have cards. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's a chance, folks. There's a chance here. I have to be pretty smart about my kills, though. Yellow looks quite weak. What's white going to do? Break some blue? Just play. Trying to kill yellow? What's he? Nah, nothing. White's playing three positional. He's just playing a better version of me. White is uh, likely a good player. I will say 
that this now likely threatens blue. So we might see blue spend their turn to take a fifth bonus, in which case white's 15 stack is in danger. Okay, Magenta's in a single position. Decently strong, though. Do we see 20 V 15? All right, number of positions. Blue's in two places, but they hold a ton of the board. Um, green has two bonuses. But they're almost in, a, in, in one place. They just need this single exterior to be removed. Uh, magenta's in one place. Yellow is in effectively one place in the same way. So, and white is in three. So I'm, I'm really trying my best to just line myself up to make these kills. I don't think I trade here. Maybe I do, though, because if I'm too weak, I get eaten. It's a tough one. I think I'm going to trade here, and I'm going to line up either the magenta, the yellow, or the green kill from it with just two symmetrical stacks, depending on who... Gets fed to me. Twenty-three, so eleven up here and twelve in the bottom. We just remove that little pocket. So I have lines. I can make a profitable kill next turn as long as yellow, green, or magenta don't set. My best line is on yellow, and then maybe magenta. So how you kill magenta is you go up through here off the bottom stack, and then you come across with the top. How you kill yellow is easier, more obvious. How you kill green is the hardest one of the three. He also, uh, blue also maybe feeds me white. 69 troops, very far ahead. But I kind of have to make one of those kills this turn. Mm -hmm. Do we see 17 v 15? Do we see it? No. Blue's super careful. Okay. Cool. You're white. What do you do? You leave. You move the stack out. Okay. White sets. This is why I'm glad I traded. Because white would have killed me profitably. Okay, white is fast and good, and he kills yellow. My easiest kill has been removed, but that's okay. Because white doesn't actually benefit from this. He's exactly the same amount of troops as me. Well, he's got more cards, though. He's going to just turn on four cards. Can I kill white? That would be hilarious. Can't really. I don't have quite the material. Damn it. Killing him would be essential right now because he's good. Okay, and magenta sets. That means the only viable kill is green. Let's see what magenta does. And again, I wouldn't leave this here. I think blue's going to hit it. Magenta's going to kill green, or try to. Let's see it. They try to kill green now. That won't set them. That means I can kill magenta, I think. 53 goes around the bottom. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here's my line to victory. They're going to kill green and they're going to sit on four cards and I can kill them. Four cards trades me in turn. So the order of operations is kill magenta set, kill white set. Go into the 1v1 with blue. Let's not fuck this up. Because if I can win this game from that original position, that will be so incredibly epic. <laughs> runs out of time, runs out of time, runs out of time, runs out of time. Oh, baby. Please no set on gr green, no set. Feed me both kills. Yeah. Feed me both kills. Let's go. Let's go. That's awesome. I, I kill the, I kill everyone. <laughs> oh boy, what a game, folks! Please take a card. Please take a card. Give me one more card, sir. He does not.
This is going to be a tough kill, but I think I have the material. Let's hope. Nah, it's too fucking close, damn it. <sighs> hmm. Do we try? I fucked it up. <laughs> Sitting on five, I get eaten. I, 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 I was sure that green set me in. Why didn't he set me in? Because he skipped, right? So me eating him, if he took a card, would have won me the game. But because he didn't take a card, and I didn't look at the numbers again, I attacked Magenta for no reason. Well, white kills me. White kills me here. Yeah, blue doesn't know how to play. White kills me, kills Magenta, and wins the game. And that's the game. That's actually a good game. I'll keep this one. This one's fine. Blue doesn't know how to play. Blue's playing it like it's fixed. Um, I fucked up because green didn't take a card. White sets kills me, kills magenta, then kills blue. And that's the game. I die. So the him card skipping made me lose. It didn't make him win, which is too bad for him. But maybe he's going to get Magenta first. That's nice. That's a gentleman right there. Thank you. He was me third for being shitty. <laughs> All right. Well, third is better than dead last, which is what we thought it was going to be. This map is awesome, by the way. This map is absolutely awesome. Do you run out of time, you moron? I can't fucking believe it. <sighs> Bleh. Let's see what blue does. Blue set. They're adjacent to white. They're getting 16 a turn. My luck has been incredible. Um, somehow I'm not dead, but I am still in a distant third. Blue needs to hit. Do you not know how to play Risk at all? Like, Blue is obviously, like, a very new player. <sighs> and he's not hitting at all. He's just like, oh, what do I do? So confused about this situation. Or maybe he just disconnects. Well, I'm in a 1v1 at a strong disadvantage with white then. Because white's going to hold a plus 10. I just assumed that blue wasn't going to choose this exact moment to fucking disconnect. Yeah, I would laugh too. White gets the easy kill. Well, that's a disappointing finish to have a bot now. To have the strongest player bot now. That's super disappointing. Uh... Okay, well, GG. And there we go. Death to the old Peatman. Imagine I had another set. Manual the 3v3? Yeah. Do it. Win. You deserve this win. No? I'll give you another card. Give him a good game. I take another card so he can have it. What are you crying about? I just gave you another card. For free! <laughs> yeah, for free! What a joke of a game, though, eh? Who is this gentleman? Um, the Swedish player? No, the American player. Gabe DeGoat. 
That's what I, I guarantee, I guarantee Gabe watches the show and he's going to see this video and he's going to be like, I can't fucking believe this game. The bot kills me? Oh no, the bot kills me. Lol? JK? Maybe not? Maybe yes? Come on, Gabe. At least win this game, dude. This is the weirdest game I've played in a very long time. <laughs> I know. So stupid. I'm laughing too, bud. Just kill me. Take my four cards. Certainly you don't let me live. Don't let me live. Kill me now. <laughs> yes, you have to. Unfortunately, I get third. I get the honorary second, but you can't let me live. Yeah, I know, buddy. Well played to you too, sir. <laughs> I die. Yeah. Let's see him clean up the board. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. What a mess. What an absolute, absolute shit show. I was fully expecting blue to not bot there randomly and hit white hard, giving me a chance in the late game, right? There was still a chance. Okay, of course, you can never predict when a player disconnects, but that was just like the worst possible time. Other than that, I think you guys have to appreciate how much restraint I showed this game to really try to play, play to my outs for as long as I possibly could and then just rely on the luck to, to carry you. And then that, that key error I made, um, miscounting, right? I expected green to take a card, um, which would have triggered my intern trade and let me sweep. But because he didn't, um, not only did he lose, but he made me lose too, which is not necessarily how I play, but definitely how some people play. Lose still a bot. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. So disappointing. And cleans it up. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you guys the Spain 1v1 that I like and I used um, to get to rank number one. Uh, defeating all novices and beginners. That's a fast beginner gave to goat but uh yeah no surprise that yellow is new magenta is new blue is new green was a beginner as well okay so so for the spain 1v1 you want to set it up as uh world domination on modern spain no no blizzard yes fog no portals Auto uh, manual setup, progressive cards, expert bot. I like you can change the bot difficulty to whatever you want because I like to set it to neutral in a 1v1. Turn timer 60, alliances are on. I can explain to you why. And balance blitz dice. So this, the reason there's no blizzard is the same reason alliances are on. There is a number of territories on Spain that um, means that once the manual selection phase is over, um, the first player has to place their initial troops and then play their first turn in the first 60 seconds. You have to do that all together. So this helps mitigate the advantage of your opponent going first. If you have blizzards, it changes the, the number of territories from odds to even, so that doesn't happen. If you have fog off, you each place your troop manually, so that doesn't happen. But with this, there is at least some mitigation given to the disparity between the first player. And then of course, because Spain has all of those compartmentalized bonuses, you want to block the first player from taking them. If you're in, if you start going second, um, you want to take them if you start going first so that you get extra troops on your first turn. And after that, you just want to be in a bunch of different places. So we'll wait for the game to fill and I will discuss what I'm thinking when we play it. Okay, so <clears throat> standard rules for 1v1s apply. You're going to want to 
Um, keep your opponents off bonuses first. You're going to want to keep them off multiples of three territories. Second, you're going to want to take your own bonuses and multiples of three territories third. And multiples of three is your reinforcement rule and risk, right? You can never get less than three. And then it's count the number of territories you control, divide by three, round down. So 12 territories gets you four, 15 territories gets you five, and so on. I'm going second. I'm inherently disadvantaged in this game. We'll see how we can make it up. And I have a couple of tricks I'll show you. So in the manual selection, again, we want to keep our opponent off the four two for twos. Euskadi, Estrum, Duras, Utamalilla, and Islas Canarias. And the five three for threes, Galicia, Aragon, Catalonia, Alaric and Valencia as the most important things in the early game. Looks like he still doesn't understand how to claim a territory. And we might be playing a bot, which would be disappointing. And that's a two for two, so we block. thinking long and hard about what territory to pick. He wants to pick the perfect territory. It's two for two, so we block. Because this guy is slow, I'll probably beat him in the late game, and I'll, and I'll explain to you why. So that, that differential in, in the clock. That's a three for three, so I go for one of the two for twos now. See if he gives it to me. That's two of the three, so I block. Does he block me? No, he lets me take a bonus. Okay. Definitely don't do this, not even if you're going first. His first four picks should have been all of the two for twos to block me. And he's going to take Mallorca, so I'm going to take Menorca. No, he blocks. Okay. I block in the middle now. No, I like these three territories. So I like, th this map has a couple of corner territories. This one, the top of Valencia, I like a lot. Castellon. Um, because if I hit one, two, three, I actually block all three of these bonuses, but I leave the road open for him to, um, or rather for myself to push through it. Uh, yeah, we'll block here. He's letting me pick, which is not good, right? You want to take the lead as the first player in the territory. So he does block one of them. Um, so if I hit either of these, I can't, I no longer have an open line. So that's too bad. Um, I'll put it up at the top though. Maybe I take this bonus or bluff it and blocks. No, he lets me have another bonus. Great. I have two bonuses. Um, now he's picking faster, so I can pick a bit faster as well. So I'm taking a lot of material on the top right, because as I said, that's where a lot of the bonuses are concentrated on this map. So, um, I'll have to run through less territory, assuming he doesn't get, he doesn't predict my stack and roll it. Okay, so I've now blocked every bonus. I don't have to worry. Now I just have to put myself in as many positions as possible so that it's harder for him to run through me on the first turn. And that is it. I think I'm going to put my stack here. I do this really quickly. because Oh, he was a bot. So he was a bot. He, the guy actually quit. So we don't actually get to see the... Um, the gameplay, which is disappointing. Um, but that is the theory in the manual setup. And to be perfectly honest, the manual setup is where most of these games are won and lost. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, no shocker that uh, that gentleman was a novice. And let's see where Spain stacks up in the tier of maps for risk. So in my opinion, modern Spain is an S tier map. And it's slightly, slightly worse than Central America because the bonuses are a little bit too impactful. But I love that. I love the psychological play. So it's really close. Like I could see myself in a world putting modern Spain as, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a map I enjoy more than Central America. I play, I like to play it more. Um, but just strictly speaking in terms of world on progressive, 
the bonuses in Central America matter. The bonuses in modern Spain matter even more, which makes it just slightly less. And I think, yeah, putting it between Central American Asia and Asia 1800s is about where I would want it to sit in this tier maker. And of course, I reserve the right to amend those decisions uh, as we progress with the series. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I hope you're really enjoying the series. I definitely am. And I hope you find some of this fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. Good luck in week five of the Risk World Championships if you're competing. Good luck in week two of the inaugural Kill Pete Open. Folks, thank you. I love you. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.